Welcome back to another video. Jay Siemens here. We've got my boy Ben Fisher. You might recognize him from uh, the outpost earlier this summer. He's back to do some work, to do some fishing. Anyways, this is, believe it or not, my first time ice fishing Lake of the Woods this winter. Disgusting, I know. Uh, it's really windy, so I apologize for the wind noise, but it will be much better once we get the escape set up. So we're gonna pop a couple holes and I will catch you up on what's going on in my life. Weather's insane. It's like just warm without a heater. Yeah, it's nice like that though too. Oh, there's fish coming in. Well, we are set up and we have now seen our first fish on live scope. Oh, it might not be small. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Okay, it might've been small. Wow, that fish is dirty. Oh, now he's coming up for Ben. We're uh, just off the edge of a hump, about 30 feet of water. You got him? And we're on. It's my first time on Lake of the Woods oh, this boy. year. Believe it or not, this is Ben's first time on Lake of the Woods this winter too. It is. But he also drove eight hours. It's in my backyard. Ben's gonna be living down at the outpost for the next couple of weeks, catching giant walleyes like this. Oh yeah. That's why he that's why he came all that way. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Living in Kenora, you think you fish Lake of the Woods all the time, but you know, I fished the back lakes. I've been in Manitoba lots this winter and now we're back. Ben and I set the beds up this morning. That'll probably be part of a different video part of an outpost video, but uh, I thought we'd do a little Lake of the Woods walleye fishing. Get you guys up to speed on a couple things. Maybe catch some fish. Maybe a bigger walleye than that, we'll see. I like his mood. We're fishing in the Escape 2600. I often film in the 2800. The big difference, it's slightly smaller, but uh, one of the big differences, you can fish the, fit this under uh, a standard size box bed. Did you know that? That's the difference, 2800 you can't yeah. fit you can't close the gate proper, or you can close it, but you have to like lift it up and you can have a, a tonneau cover typically, yep. uh, which is important for some people. So this one, you get your tonneau cover side underneath, keep it in your truck all the time. For me, it kind of just has to rest in the back with my 2800. Sure. So a 26 is nice for that. Just a slightly shorter toboggan. People are getting, oh, that is oh, big. Yeah. That is a big fish. He's coming up hot. You got him. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, my drag. Wow, we got a good fish on. Well, it had been quiet and we were like, we were gonna move right now. I'm gonna pull the deucer out. That fish just streaked in and chowed. We're on Lake of the Woods. My heart's pumping, I'm sure Ben's is too. How are you feeling? You got just jigging minnow on? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Jeez, her head's just bobbing there. You're so close. There you go. Probably like a nice 24, 25, 22, I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Well, that's a little upgrade from your uh, yeah, fish before. That's real nice. Probably, I don't know, 24? Yeah, I think we're good. You can, you can throw it back if you want. Just that easy. Just that easy. It's all downhill from here. Whoa. There she goes. Sweet. <laughs> awesome. Um, this is the first of two weeks. Ben's going to be at the outpost for two weeks, like I said. And uh, he's probably going to, I mean, he's going to probably dial some stuff in, but... Makes me not want to move now. Yeah. <laughs> After seeing that, we we're just ready to pack up and then this fish comes in and just kills it. Oh, it was a good one. Sweet. Tungsten, gold tungsten jig he's using. With a livey. So good. So we're fishing basically just off the edge of a hump in like, yeah, 28 to 30. And I don't know. I don't like to be right on the steep part of the hump. I like to be on kind of that weird plateaus on either side. And yeah, we're kind of just on the edge of it. So it's probably 40, 45 feet off the edge. And just as you get to evening time now, it's 3.30. We spent the morning getting stuff ready at the outpost, but uh, yeah, it just, you fish all day. And then all of a sudden, when it gets close to sunset, things turn on. That was good. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Makes me not want to move now. I know. That thing charged right through there. Yeah, that mood, mood of that fish was phenomenal. So he's got the more subtle presentation. I've got the scissor kick, the glow, the small size. True grit, 1000 diesel, 10 pound braid. There might be more fish kicking around, I'm not sure. Man, that fish looked nice. Just came in fast and killed. There was no playing with that one. You can see on live scope just all the big chunky boulders where we're at right now. And right now how it's set up at the grids is their one foot grid. So that fish, you could see it was pretty much spanning two grids. Gives you a good sign of what type of fish you're dealing with. There's a fish suspended up high, look at this. Just off the side of the screen. He's right oh, under yeah. the time right now. Ooh, that's not a Cisco. I think that might be something bigger. Oh, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Might not be that big. I don't know. Oh, he might be engaging. Yeah, real up. I'll, I'll get him for no, it. No, you can catch him. I don't care. <laughs> Catches him. Oh, he's on it. 
Oh, now he's back, to, back you. to me. Oh! Oh, you're gonna catch him. Oh! <laughs> he keeps coming back though. Maybe whitefish? Oh yeah, he's oh. gonna eat now. Oh, he's gonna eat now. Ben's on fire. Look at oh. this. Oh! <laughs> Spoke too soon. It's acting like a whitefish, I think. This is hilarious. He goes from mine to yours, but he's definitely more zoned in on yours. Right here. Right here. Oh! <laughs> He's vertical on it. Oh! Oh, you, oh come on. Oh! <laughs> you could almost look down the hole and see him. Honestly, you should look down the hole right now. Looking like a couple dummies. <laughs> I could try to tie something smaller on very quickly, like a tiny dinner bell. Still there? Yeah. All right, he kept him entertained. See if this does it. This would be like my go-to for whitefish. Would be the micro tungsten. There we go. Nice, the assist. <laughs> this is gonna do it. I know this bait's gonna do it. Oh, you just kissed it. This is hilarious. Oh. Come on. There we go. There you go. Finally. It's gotta be a Cisco. Cisco Disco. Nice. That is what we were playing with. Like I said, this is my staple bait for Cisco's whitefish. Is that micro tungsten. I like the tungsten just because typically you're in a little deeper water and you only smell like cucumbers, eh? What? Yeah. No. Tell me that doesn't smell like cucumbers. It smells like fish. No, it smells like cucumbers. That does not White smell fish like cucumbers. and Cisco smell like cucumbers. <laughs> All right, there we go. Keeping that guy. Well, the lure switch. The lure switch worked. <laughs> that was clutch. Yeah, I was thinking he probably wanted something smaller there too. Man, did he chase back and forth? That'll be yeah, amazing. That was... Let's go footage. All right, we're taking a little break from fishing. We are coming up on prime time. It's been a good start, but I, I filmed something a couple weeks ago that I want to show you. Kind of exciting new announcement, something that I'm excited to partner on to bring to Canada. I'm just going to leave it at that. Roll the clip. What are we doing today, Sam? Scanning. Speak up. Scanning. What? Stop. Oh. <laughs> Well, um, if you guys haven't figured it out, if you've been following videos for a while, you might have gotten the, the vibe that I have an entrepreneurial spirit. And I try not to say yes to too much, but I just keep on saying yes to more things. And we became friends with Scotty Green. Yeah, that was our biggest problem. Is we became friends with that guy right there, Scotty. And we started on our first business venture together uh, about a year ago, which was building a cabin, which went well, it was frantic, hectic in the midst of having a baby, but our cabin is pretty much done, Uncle Mark's outpost. But we're like, oh, why would we want our lives to slow down? Let's start another thing, another business venture. So if you guys remember last summer, my buddy Cade came up from Aquatraction, scanned my boat and then came back a couple weeks later and installed this Aquatraction flooring, that cool custom flooring. After that video, I got bombarded. They got bombarded as well with messages about, you know, where can you get Aquatraction done in Canada? There's no dealers of Aquatraction in Canada. So Scott and I did some talking, said, Jay, you, do, you, you know, you, you kind of do the marketing side of things. I've got a marina and stuff. Why don't we, why don't we come the, become the Aquatraction dealers of Central Canada? So right now we have a training session going on. We got Tanner and Cade from Aquatraction, North Dakota. We got Scotty, we got Matei, we got Spencer, we got Maddie. What are we doing right now, Cade? Uh, we are currently in the process of Aquatraction of Canada's first scan Ooh. by themselves. So what, tell us what you've been doing the last couple days. Bring us up to speed. So we got Tanner too. Say hi, Tanner. Hey guys. <laughs> Two days ago, yesterday was a full day of training, basically breaking down the whole process of what we do, walking them through all the functions of editing, walking them through tips and tricks of scanning, installing, talking about a little bit of marketing. We're essentially breaking off the training wheels and now they're taking it on on their own. So Amazing. Hopefully, hopefully have a boat edited up tonight and have a design 
design planned out at least. I hope I hope you got some inspiration, Maddie. Uh, once this design is done, you know, we send it away how long till we get the, the product typically. So we'll scan here and then once you get it all edited up and send it off, it's a two week lead time. Yeah. And we pretty much keep the two week lead time all through the year. Yeah. Spring gets a little bit busier, but two weeks is standard. Yeah. So each boat needs to be individually scanned. Um, and that's what you know makes it uh, you know a really a really good product because at first I was just like well just send me the panels I'll install them but no it's so much more so like I said the boat's gonna get scanned and once we do a couple test boats we're gonna open this up to the public and it's gonna be ran through Lake of the Woods Marina we're gonna be doing scans on the water scans at their heated shop just outside of Kenora yeah we're aqua traction of Central Canada so we're also gonna plan to do some like pop-up shops like we're gonna you know maybe head to Winnipeg plan a day scan a bunch of your boats and come back two to three weeks later install on a bunch of boats so obviously if you want to bring your boat to Kenora you'll be able to get it scanned and installed in Kenora but sorry these guys are getting loud you can keep it down I'm trying to film video cinnamon, cinnamon. It's Jay cinnamon <laughs> this is a good investment I think we're gonna you know we're gonna bring a pretty cool product to Canada. We're pretty good partners. It's, it's exciting, you know, like there's a lot of boats. If you've ever driven through Northwest Ontario, there's a ton of boats. So we're gonna, we're gonna be, you know, Suneros, Red Lake, Dryden, wherever really. I mean, Emo? Emo, you need your boat scan in Emo, we'll come to Emo. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. We're gonna put it on the Friendship. Scotty wants to put it in his dad's bathroom. They're renovating, you, you can really do whatever that. So we're gonna experiment like cooler tops, ice castles, uh, snow bears, yeah, whatever you want. Uh, comfortable, durable flooring, we'll do it. But uh, it'll be cool. I love seeing the before and after videos and clips that these guys do. And uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. I think the thing too is like, nothing wrong with buying a brand new boat, but if you're wanting to, you know, redo the flooring or breathe some life into it, it's, it's an easy way to give, give your boat a facelift. I will say though, right now, um, vinyl boats are gonna be significantly easier because you can just lay it down. If you have a carpet boat, it involves carpet removal. It's a much more complicated uh, setup or uh, process. But if you're ordering a new boat, you want aqua traction, you order it, you know, vinyl, or if you have a vinyl boat, then it's really easy to install. But we are, you know, gonna dial in the process of, you know, pulling out the carpet. But anyways, we'll see what these guys are doing. Saved, and it's gonna say the measurement has been saved. Okay, so now it's just here. So if you needed to go back and redo something, you can, because you haven't moved the box yet. Yeah, isn't it like... All right, Yeah. rolling out. So next, I... next time we come back, we'll be uh, in, installing this in uh, Maddie's aluminum craft. All right, Hen. So one day you'll be installing aqua traction all across Canada. Okay. We are back at Two Rivers Boat Works, your one-stop shop for snow bear, snowmobile, boat. What else do you fix, Mike? Whatever. Hey, look. Oh, and now he's got the sample pad of aqua traction. Any color, you're gonna get aqua traction in your Ranger, you said? Yep. And that hides you from the camera if you want? Yeah. Um, anyways, today we have an exciting install. I'm with Matei, the lead installer scanner with Aqua Traction of Central Canada, and we are putting some beautiful aqua traction flooring in an icebound excursion, Snow Bear. So if you are going out on Lake Winnipeg, make sure you request the one with aqua traction. This is gonna look pretty sweet. So we're gonna do a little before and after action. Got the GoPro rolling in the corner for the time lapse and Matei's scrubbing it down. So right, we're rubbing it down with acetone and an alcohol cleanse, get it nice and clean and then we're sticking it down and it's, it's gonna look so good. Yeah, I'm excited. That's all I got for talking right now. Matei's doing one last wipe down with uh, alcohol and then we're gonna start laying the pieces out and make sure they all fit. We didn't scan this one, so if it isn't fitting properly, it's not our fault. Okay, we're gonna lay a couple in there. We're gonna lay some out. We're just kind of placing them here. We've got the diagram okay, of- so number 10. Number 10. Is the back corner. They did a good job scanning this. These we can push in, cause like, yeah, see how well, this piece I think we'll go right under one. All right, we're priming. Probably need to crack a window here. That coat's pretty smooth. Yeah. All right, plop a couple down. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll yeah, we'll kind of score them all and get them all. 
All right, first step is done. Looks perfect. Now we gotta do the floor and the catch covers. All right, I'm doing the catch covers now. Matei finishing it up. And the roller's done. This worked out pretty good. So Matt, someone can rent this very snow bear? Someone can rent this very snow bear, although I, I, I may may use this one for myself. This is his new personal whip. Yeah, I think this is gonna be my personal one now. Oh, it looks good. You don't let people wear shoes in here, barefoot only. So yeah, that's it. Aqua Traction in Canada now. It'll be good, I think. Um, can I ask you a question? Yes, about ask me a question about Aqua Traction. Okay, like if I buy a boat, yeah. I at that point won't do carpet yeah because it's easier to if you rip out carpet you can still do it it's just a little more labor intensive more expensive so if you're like i want to do aqua traction and you're planning it from the start then i would just order the boat vinyl people in fiberglass boats will just order it with no flooring at all and then it's just so much of a cleaner install obviously it's you can do it you can rip out the carpet but like over vinyl is the easiest you have a vinyl boat you clean it and then you stick it down it's super fast i mean what i like about it is it's dries fast like vinyl, but it's comfortable like carpet. Yep. And then you can do the cool designs. I smell like cucumbers, I'm telling you, man. I don't know what kind of cucumbers you've been smelling. Jay! Yep. We'll shake it. Just uh, ice fishing for fish. Come on, for fish, no way. Yeah. I'm fishing wow. with a guy and his last name is Fisher. Can you imagine that? Dang it, good, good thing his last name is Lake for dinner. <laughs> there yeah, there's a big, big mark. Sorry, one second, Josh. Oh, every time, every time I'm on the phone. Every time we <laughs> talk to Josh. Ooh, that was a good sized fish. Just slithering on the bottom. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if we should back. leave. He's swirling back. He's Hopefully. Ben, Ben's first fish was like an almost 24 inch walleye, so that was pretty nice. Or never mind, he caught one second. small one. He, yeah. Second, sorry, he caught one small one. I caught a Cisco. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come back. Come back. Yep. It's not big. <laughs> Every time we're on the phone with Josh McFadden, this is a good segue into the next announcement, Josh. Uh, what's the next announcement? Uh, the Catch and Cook is about to enter the United States of America. Yeah, we're coming stateside, baby. Oh, here's another one. American yep. launch, U.S. launch in the Americas. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Do you want to keep fishy tonight? Uh, I'll take one, yeah. All right, he's keeping uh, this one. If we wanted a quote on our... Uh... Ooh, there's a fish coming, Josh. What do I do? Catch it. Catch him? That's what you do. I got him. Hook up. It's really small, Josh. That's fine. I don't need a big fish to be happy. All right, now that we're going down. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, we'll talk in a minute. All right, see you, buddy. Yeah, have fun. Good you luck. too. Yep. Good luck to you too. That was Josh McFadden. Um, as we said, we are now. A lot of things are happening with Catch and Cook. This, this is a good update video. Lots to talk about. We, th things just have kept growing on the Canada side. We are in Cabela's across Canada um, and now in the States. We've got a second production location. If you are interested in getting Catch Cook in the States, I will link our sales reps below. That'll be launching. Pre-orders will be happening in a couple weeks. Um, it'll be ready for fulfillment probably late April. Yeah, probably late April, early May, somewhere in there, somewhere in April, hopefully, in time for walleye season. So we're excited. So it's it's the same recipe, a uh, little bit different packaging, but now it's gonna be made in the USA, warehoused in the USA and, and shipping out. So we're just starting with spicy and original, kind of the two top flavors for the coatings and we'll get the whole lineup in the States eventually. But that's what's been happening. As I mentioned, Uncle Mark's Outpost is now available for bookings. We got like, I think only eight weeks available left, which is pretty crazy. It's It's been filling up. I think as people are seeing the progression of the videos, uh, if you're not familiar, Uncle Mark's Outpost is a little off-grid cabin. I've been building with my buddy Spencer and Scott and obviously Uncle Mark. Yeah, as of June, you will be able to book it. So you can book now, but the bookings are starting in June, week-long rentals. I think that's pretty much it. Am I missing anything, Ben? I don't think so. <laughs> what else is going on in my life? Um, I turned 31 on Sunday. 31's been a good year, became, or 30's been a good year, became a dad, stressed myself out building a cabin. What else happened? 31's gonna be even better. I think that's all I got. I don't know if we move or not. The fish are coming in are just killing. Like they're all aggressive. I know, that's the thing. It's like, ah. We keep talking about moving. 
We got a nice small walleye coming in. Oh, oh, you just shanked that one. <laughs> just went behind the boulder to sulk. 25 to 30 is kind of my confidence depth on, on Lake of the Woods. You obviously can catch them deeper. You can catch them shallower. If you catch them deeper, probably shouldn't be releasing them because they, I mean, they can suffer from barrel trauma. I've definitely seen fish caught deeper swim away, um, but I've also seen, you know, fish caught deeper, their eyeballs popping up, their, right. their stomach popping out, so. Come on, baby. Oh, he's coming to you. He wants the tungsten. Wants the tungsten. Oh. oh, ouch. Yeah. That was like so quick, you know? It's like, how are you supposed to? I feel like I got robbed. I think again. he'll come back. I feel like you probably did get robbed. I think there's a fish on the bottom. Look at this. Under you, there's some weird flickering yeah, happening. I see that right between us. <laughs> oh. Did I get you? Oh, yeah, you can see your yeah. lure coming up. <laughs> yeah, just open the bail. Yeah. Oh! oh. That's a big perch. <laughs> He's spitting up other minnows. We've gotten a bit of everything. This is a nice sample of Lake of the Woods. Right around that 12 inch mark. Sweet. Cool. We got perch. We got walleyes. We got ciscos. Snags. We, got, we, tangled, we tangled each other. <laughs> oh, look at that fish moving in on the right. Baba. Baba. He's on the other side of the boulder. Yeah, there he is. He's starting to flicker. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. I'm just gonna pound on the spot and just start lifting. Oh, 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 that's a good fish too. Oh man, he just throttled it. Yeah, he did. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. You can see his tail kicking. That's a decent sized yeah. fish, dude. The problem is I don't really have a whole lot of action. I just kind of have it. Oh, he's gonna eat it right here. Oh, Ben's on fire! That fish was just cutting. Did you see him cut out of the screen? Yeah. Oh man, I had a chance. I had a chance on that one. I'm thinking another walleye in the very similar size class. You get touch smaller than the other one. Nice. Wow. <laughs> this is good. It feels good to be back on Lake of the Woods. People talk about, you know, the walleye fishing might be in peril. I, I don't know. This is this is good. Okay, All right. You can send them right back. We'll put them back. It's an interesting conversation because the, right now they're in the talks of, you know, cutting the limit in half, which I'm not opposed to at all. It's interesting because for me personally, I would say the walleye fishing is getting better on Lake of the Woods, but I'm also spending more time on the lake, obviously not this winter, but like spending more time on the lake living in Kenora now, live scope, I'm learning it better. And it's just like, to me, it feels like the walleye fishing is just getting better every year. But I mean, there are some studies showing that it could be declining. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't argue with with that, but uh, I mean, regardless, I don't think you need to keep four walleyes per person. I think that's a lot of fish. I think two is good. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, for a daily, I think for me being from the States, obviously the more you could bring back, the nice. Yeah, it's nice to bring a couple fish back. Right. Oh, dude, good fish. I completely shanked that one. So I could see that application too, yeah. but. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Seen mine drop out of the sky going out. Oh. oh, is this a decent sized fish? Come on. Oh, he's coming over to you. <laughs> you robbed me. No, he's. Oh, maybe. Yeah, he's coming yeah, right he's over coming. Oh, now he's coming back to me. Another fish coming in on the right. Things are turning on. Ooh. I felt good. This might yeah. be a big perch. I'm thinking big perch. That's my prediction. Nope, not even close to right. Ooh, there's a fish. Oh, yeah, it bumped me. I was like, what was that? It's right on you. Ooh, that fish is looking bigger all of a sudden. It's the only thing is, I'm sure he oh, took your that. bite. It feels a little lopsided still. It's coming over to me. Redemption for all the fish you stole from me today. Oh, it's turning around. Oh, there's your, your minnow. minnow. <laughs> That's yours for Isn't sure. It? Yeah, I wasn't I using full minnows. All right, well, it was a good day. Made it to the outpost. That'll be part of a different video. Caught a couple fish. You're a little more updated on my life now. Um, yeah, things are good. Been home for the last couple weeks, and now I'm hitting the road, filming the next season of the Canadian Angle. If you didn't see the last season, head over to the Meat Eater YouTube channel. Yeah, been making some cool videos over there and got some even cooler ones planned for next season. 
but you'll have to wait till next January, I guess, for that. But anyways, guys, if you're on the ice, pick up your trash. There's nothing worse than leaving trash on the ice. Hopefully Ben has some big fish pictures to share over the next two weeks. I hope so. We'll insert them here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it.